The Piper PA-28 Cherokee is a family of light aircraft designed for flight training, air taxi, and personal use. It is built by Piper Aircraft. All members of the PA-28 family are all-metal, unpressurized, single-engined, piston-powered airplanes with low-mounted wings and tricycle landing gear. They all have a single door on the co-pilot side, which is entered by stepping on the wing. The first PA-28 received its type certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration in 1960, and the series remains in production to this day. Current models are the Arrow and Archer TX and LX. The Archer was discontinued in 2009, but with investment from new Piper owners in Primus, was put back into production in 2010. The PA-28 series competes with the Cessna 172, the Grumman American AA-5 series, and the Beechcraft Musketeer. Piper has created variations within the Cherokee family by installing engines ranging from 140 to 300 HP, providing turbocharging, offering fixed or retractable landing gear, fixed pitch or constant speed propellers, and stretching the fuselage to accommodate six people. The larger, six-seat variant of the PA-28 is generally the PA-32. Earlier versions were known as the Cherokee 6, and a PA-32 version called the Saratoga was in production until 2009. Development At the time of the Cherokee's introduction, Piper's primary single-engined, all-metal aircraft was the Piper PA-24 Comanche, a larger, faster aircraft with retractable landing gear and a constant-speed propeller. Carl Berge, Frederick Vieck and John Thorpe designed the Cherokee as a less expensive alternative to the Comanche, with lower manufacturing and parts costs to compete with the Cessna 172, although some later Cherokees also featured retractable gear and constant-speed propellers. The Cherokee and Comanche lines continued in parallel production, serving different market segments for over a decade, until Comanche production was ended in 1972, to be replaced by the Piper PA-32 A family. The original design The original Cherokees were the Cherokee A-150 and Cherokee A-160, which started production in 1961. In 1962, Piper added the Cherokee A-180 powered by a 180 horsepower light-coming O360 engine. The extra power made it practical to fly with all four seats filled, and the model remains popular on the used airplane market. In 1968, the cockpit was modified to replace the push-pull-style engine controls with levers. In addition, a third window was added to each side, giving the fuselage the more modern look seen in current production. Piper continued to expand the line rapidly. In 1963, the company introduced the even more powerful Cherokee 235, which competed favorably with the Cessna 182 for load carrying capability. The Cherokee 235 featured a light coming 0540 engine D rated to 235 horsepower and a longer wing, which would eventually be used for the Cherokee 6. It included tip tanks of 17 gallon capacity each, bringing the total fuel capacity of the Cherokee 235 to 84 gallons. The aircraft had its fuselage stretched in 1973 giving much more legroom in the rear. The stabilator area was increased as well. In 1973 the marketing name was changed from 235 to Charger. In 1974 it was changed again to Pathfinder. Production of the Pathfinder continued until 1977. There was no 1978 model year. In 1979 the aircraft was given the Piper tapered wing and the name was changed again, this time to Dakota. In 1964, the company filled in the bottom end of the line with the Cherokee 140, which was designed for training, and initially shipped with only two seats. The PA-28-140 engine was slightly modified shortly after its introduction to produce 150 horsepower, but kept the minus 140 name. In 1967, Piper introduced the PA-28-180 Cherokee Arrow. This aircraft featured a constant speed propeller, retractable landing gear and was powered by a 180 horsepower light coming IO-360B1E engine. 
a 200 horsepower version powered by a light coming I-0360C 1C was offered as an option beginning in 1969 and designated the PA-28 to 200. The 180 horsepower model was dropped after 1971. At the time the Arrow was introduced, Piper removed the Cherokee 150 and Cherokee 160 from production. The Arrow 2 came out in 1972, featuring a 5-inch fuselage stretch to increase legroom for the rear seat passengers. In 1977, Piper introduced the Arrow 3, which featured a semi-tapered wing and longer stabulator, a design feature that had previously been introduced successfully on the PA-28-181 and provided better low-speed handling. It also featured larger fuel tanks, increasing capacity from 50 to 77 gallons. The first turbocharged model, the PA-28-201T was also offered in 1977, powered by a six-cylinder Continental TSI 0360F engine equipped with a Rajay turbocharger. A three-bladed propeller was optional. In 1979, the Arrow was restyled again as the PA-28RT-201 Arrow 4 featuring a T-tail that resembled the other aircraft in the Piper line at the time. In 1971, Piper released a Cherokee 140 variant called the Cherokee Cruiser 2 Plus 2. Although the plane kept the 140 designation, it was, in fact, a 150 horsepower plane, and was shipped mainly as a four-seat version. In 1973, the Cherokee 180 was named the Cherokee Challenger, and had its fuselage lengthened slightly and its wings widened, and the Cherokee 235 was named the Charger with similar airframe modifications. In 1974, Piper changed the marketing names of some of the Cherokee models again, renaming the Cruiser 2 Plus 2 simply the Cruiser, the Challenger to the Archer and the Charger to Pathfinder. Piper reintroduced the Cherokee 150 in 1974, renaming it the Cherokee Warrior and giving it the Archer's stretched body and a new, semi-tapered wing. In 1977, Piper stopped producing the Cruiser and Pathfinder, but introduced a new 235-horsepower plane, the Dakota, based on the Cherokee 235, Charger, and Pathfinder models, but with a new semi-tapered wing. The PA-28-201T Turbo Dakota followed the introduction of the PA-28-236 Dakota in 1979. The airframe was essentially the same as a fixed-gear Arrow 3, and was powered by a turbocharged Continental TSI 0360 FB engine producing 200 HP. The aircraft did not sell well, and production ended in 1980. In 1978, Piper upgraded the Warrior to 160 HP PA-28-161, changing its name to Cherokee Warrior II. This aircraft had slightly improved aerodynamic wheel fairings. Later models of the Warrior II, manufactured after July 1982, incorporated a gross weight increase to 2,440 pounds, giving a useful load over 900 pounds. This same aircraft, now available with a glass cockpit, was available as the Warrior 3, and was marketed as a training aircraft. PA-32 In 1965, Piper developed the Piper Cherokee 6, designated the PA-32, by stretching the PA-28 design. It featured a lengthened fuselage and seating for one pilot and five passengers. Brazilian, Argentinian and Chilean production PA-28s were built under license in Brazil as the Embraer AM-711A and AM-711C Carisco, AM-711B, AM-711T and AM-711 Carisco Turbo and the AM-712 Tupi. Argentinian production was carried out by Chincol Sacavi of San Juan, Argentina. Chincol SA built 960 airplanes between 1972 and 1995 including the Cherokee Archer, Dakota, Arrow, and Turbo Arrow. The PA-28-236 Dakota was also assembled under license by the maintenance wing of the Chilean Air Force. By September 1982, 20 Dakotas had been assembled in Chile. New Piper Aircraft, the original Piper Aircraft Company declared bankruptcy in 1991. In 1995, the new Piper Aircraft Company was created. 
it was renamed Piper Aircraft once again in 2006. The company currently produces one variant, the 180 horsepower Archer LX. Two diesel versions, 135 and 155 HP, are being tested. Design, wing, originally, all Cherokees had a constant cord, rectangular planform wing, popularly called the Hershey bar wing because of its resemblance to the convex, rectangular chocolate bar. Beginning with the Warrior in 1974, Piper switched to a semi-tapered wing with the NACA 652-415 profile and a two-foot longer wingspan. The constant cord is maintained from the root to mid-wing, at which point a tapered section sweeping backwards on the leading edge continues until the tip. Both Cherokee wing variants have an angled wing root. That is, the wing leading edge is swept forward as it nears the fuselage body, rather than meeting the body at a perpendicular angle. The documented takeoff distance, cruise speed, and landing distance of Cherokees of the same horsepower with different wing types is very similar and some of the differences that do exist in later taper wing models can be attributed to better fairings and seals rather than the different wing design. The Hershey bar wing design is not markedly inferior to the tapered design, and in some ways is quite advantageous. As Piper Cherokee designer John Thorpe says, tapered wings tend to stall outboard reducing aileron effectiveness and increasing the likelihood of a roll-off into a spin. As Peter Garrison further explains, to prevent tip stall, designers have resorted to providing the outboard portions of tapered wings with more cambered airfoil sections, drooped or enlarged leading edges, fixed or automatic leading edge slots or slats, and, most commonly, wing twist or washout. The trouble with these fixes is that they all increase the drag cancelling whatever benefit the tapered wing was supposed to deliver in the first place. Flight controls, for the Cherokee family, Piper used their traditional flight control configuration. The horizontal tail is a stabilator with an anti-servo tab. The anti-servo tab moves in the same direction of the stabilator movement, making pitch control heavier as the stabilator moves out of the trimmed position. Flaps can extend up to 40 a degree but are considerably smaller, and arguably less effective, than the flaps on a Cessna 172. Normally, 25-a-degree flaps are used for a short or soft field takeoff. The ailerons, flaps, stabilator, and stabilator trim are all controlled using cables and pulleys. In the cockpit, all Cherokees use control yokes rather than sticks, together with rudder pedals. The pilot operates the flaps manually using a Johnson bar located between the front seats. For zero degrees the lever is flat against the floor and is pulled up to select the detent positions of 10 a degree, 25 a degree and 40 a degree. Older Cherokees use an overhead crank for stabilator trim, while later ones use a trim wheel on the floor between the front seats, immediately behind the flap bar. All Cherokees have a brake lever under the pilot side of the instrument panel. Differential toe brakes on the rudder pedals were an optional add-on for earlier Cherokees, and became standard with later models. Some earlier Cherokees used control knobs for the throttle, mixture, and propeller advance, while later Cherokees use a collection of two or three control levers in a throttle quadrant. Cherokees normally include a rudder trim knob, which actually controls a set of springs acting on the rudder pedals rather than an external trim tab on the rudder a euro in other words. The surface is trimmed by control attention rather than aerodynamically. Variants, PA-28-140 Cherokee Cruiser, two-place, fixed landing gear land plane, like coming 0320E2A engine of 150 HP, gross weight 1950 LB. First certified on February 14, 1964. Approved as a 2150 LB gross weight four-place aircraft on June 17, 1965. PA-28-150 Cherokee, four-place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0320A2B or 0320E2A engine of 150 HP, gross weight 2150 LB. First certified on June 2, 1961. PA-28-151 Cherokee Warrior, four-place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0320E3D engine of 150 HP, 
gross weight 2,325 lb. First certified on August 9, 1973. Changes from the PA-28-150 include a tapered wing. PA-28-160 Cherokee, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0320B2B or 0320D2A engine of 160 HP, gross weight 2200 LB. First certified on October 31, 1960. PA-28-161 Warrior 2, 4 place, Fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0320D3G or 0320D2A engine of 160 HP, gross weight 2325 LB. First certified on November 2, 1976. Changes from the PA-28-160 include a tapered wing. Certified on July 1, 1982 for gross weight of 2440 LB. PA-28-161 Warrior 3, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0320D3G engine of 160 HP, gross weight 2440 LB. First certified on July 1, 1994. PA-28-180 Cherokee, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, Light coming 0360A3A or 0360A4A engine of 180 HP, gross weight 2400 LB. First certified on August 3, 1962. PA-28-180 Archer, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0360A4A or 0360A4M engine of 180 HP, gross weight 2450 LB. First certified on May 22, 1972. Changes from the PA-28-180 Cherokee include a 5-inch fuselage extension, wingspan increase, larger horizontal tail, gross weight increase and other minor changes. PA-28-181 Archer 2, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0360A4M or 0360A4A engine of 180 HP, Gross weight 2,550 LB. First certified on July 8, 1975. Changes from the PA-28-180 include a tapered wing. PA-28-181 Archer 3, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0360A4M engine of 180 HP, gross weight 2,550 LB. First certified on August 30, 1994. PA 28 201T Turbo Dakota, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, turbocharged Continental TSI 0360 FB, engine of 200 HP, gross weight 2900 LB. First certified on December 14, 1978. PA 28 235 Cherokee Pathfinder, 4 place, Fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0540B2B5, 0540B1B5, or 0540B4B5 engine of 235 HP, gross weight 2900 LB. First certified on July 15, 1963. PA-28-235 Cherokee Pathfinder, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, Light coming 0540B4B5 engine of 235 HP, gross weight 3000 LB. First certified on June 9, 1972. Changes from the 1963 certified PA 28 235 Cherokee Pathfinder include a 5 inch fuselage extension, wingspan increase, larger horizontal tail, gross weight increase, and other minor changes. PA 28 236 Dakota, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, light coming 0540J3A5D engine of 235 HP, gross weight 3000 LB. First certified on June 1, 1978. Changes from the 1972 certified PA 28 235 Cherokee Pathfinder include tapered wing. PA 28 S160 Cherokee, 4 place, Fixed landing gear seaplane, light coming 0320D2A engine of 160 HP, gross weight 2140 LB. 
first certified on February 25, 1963. PA-28 S-180 Cherokee, four place, fixed landing gear seaplane, light coming O360A3A or O360A4A engine of 180 HP, gross weight 2222 LB. First certified on May 10, 1963. PA-28 A-180 Arrow, four place, Retractable landing gear land plane, light coming IO 360B1E engine of 180 HP, gross weight 2500 LB. First certified on June 8, 1967. PA 28 to 200 narrow, four place, retractable landing gear land plane, light coming IO 360C1C engine of 200 HP, gross weight 2600 LB. First certified on January 16, 1969. PA-28A200 narrow 2, 4 place, retractable landing gear land plane, light coming IO360C1C or C1C6 engine of 200 HP, gross weight 2650 LB. First certified on December 2, 1971. Changes from the 1969 certified PA-28 to 200 narrow include a 5-inch fuselage extension, wingspan increase, larger horizontal tail, gross weight increase and other minor changes. PA-28 to 201 narrow 3, 4 place, retractable landing gear land plane, light coming IO 360 C1 C6 engine of 200 HP, gross weight 2750 LB. First certified on November 2, 1976. PA 28 to 201 T Turbo Arrow 3, 4 place, retractable landing gear land plane, turbocharged Continental TSIO 360F or TSIO 360FB engine of 200 HP, gross weight 2900 LB. First certified on November 2, 1976. PA 28 RT 201 Arrow 4, 4 place, Retractable landing gear land plane, light coming IO 360 C1 C6 engine of 200 HP, gross weight 2750 LB. First certified on November 13, 1978. Feature the T tail. PA 28RT201T Turbo Arrow 4, 4 place, retractable landing gear land plane, turbocharged Continental TSIO 360 FB engine of 200 HP. Gross weight 2,900 LB. First certified on November 13, 1978. Feature the T-tail. Archer DX, 4 place, fixed landing gear land plane, turbocharged Thylet Centurion 2.0 diesel engine of 155 HP. Introduced at Aero Friedrichshafen in April 2014. Operators. The Cherokee series has been popular with private owners and flying clubs, with over 32,000 delivered. Military operators, an Argentina, Argentine Coast Guard, a Chile, Chilean Air Force, a Colombia, Colombian National Armada, retired. A Finland, Finnish Air Force, 14X Cherokee Arrow 200 retired 2005, a Honduras, Honduran Air Force, a Qatar, Qatar Amiri Air Force, Accidents and Incidents, September 9, 1969, Allegheny Airlines Flight 853, a Douglas DC-9-31, collided with a Piper PA-28-181 Archer over Fairland, Indiana, killing all aboard both planes. August 28, 1972, Prince William of Gloucester, was killed along with the co-pilot of his Piper Cherokee Arrow after crashing shortly after takeoff from Hapenny Green in Staffordshire, England, in an air race. April 17, 1981, Keith Alexander and Betty Jo Alexander of Kern Valley, California were killed by their Piper 28-161 when colliding with a 150ft Redwood on Greenhorn Mountain. Their son survived the accident. August 31, 1986, Aroma Copyright Zico Flight 498, a Douglas DC-9-32, collided with a Piper PA-28-181 Archer, owned by William Kramer, over Cerritos, California, killing all 67 people aboard both planes and 15 people on the ground. It was the worst air disaster in the history of Los Angeles, 
and resulted in regulatory changes requiring all airliners to be equipped with a traffic collision avoidance system and all light aircraft operating in terminal control areas to be equipped with a mode C transponder. February 18, 2010 Andrew Joseph Stack III deliberately flew his Piper PA-28-236 Dakota into building one of the Echelon office complex in Austin, Texas, in an apparent revenge attack on the Internal Revenue Service office located there. November 17, 2011, a PA-28-180 crash four miles south of Perryville, Arkansas claimed the life of Oklahoma State University head women's basketball coach Kurt Buck and assistant coach Miranda Serna, along with a pilot and another passenger. Aircraft on display, Sigerland Airport, Piper PA-28-140 Cherokee Cruiser DECOF, Specifications Data from Piper Aircraft Owner's Handbook, General Characteristics, Crew, One Pilot, Capacity, Three Passengers, Length 23.3 feet, wingspan, 30.0 feet, height, 7.3 feet, wing area, 160 square feet, airfoil, NACA 652-415, empty weight, 1201 pounds, loaded weight, 2150 pounds, useful load, 949 pounds, max takeoff weight, 2150 pounds, power plant, 1A. Light coming 0320E2A Sensenish M74 DM propeller, 150 horsepower, propeller diameter, 74 inches, performance. Maximum speed, 123 knots, cruise speed, 108 knots, stall speed, 47 knots, range, 465 nanometers, service ceiling, 14,300 feet, rate of climb, 660 feet per minute. Wing loading, 13.4 pounds per square foot, power mass, 14.3 pounds per horsepower, avionics, factory standard 1964, none, notable appearances in media. See also Related development, Piper PA-32, Piper PA-44 Seminole, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, Beechcraft Musketeer, Cessna 172, Cessna 177, Cessna 182, Diamond DA-40, Socata Horizon, Socata TB, Grumman AA-5 Traveler, Cheetah, and Tiger, Beagle Pup Robin Drive 400, SIAI Marchetti S-205, Wasma WA-51 Pacific, Related Lists, List of Airliners, List of Civil Aircraft, References, Sources, Bibliography, and Raid, John. Milite Air 1982. London, Aviation Press Limited. ISBN A0907898017. External links. Official website. Piper Cherokee and Arrow Safety Highlights Report by AOPA on Safety and Accidents for PA28 and PA28R.